Hey, Robbie. Hey, Ben. <laughs> uh, we're back. We're back at it. Yeah. Well, we never left, really. <laughs> yeah. We never left uh, the house. Uh, it's uh, it's good to continue. Feels uh, feels nice. I think I feel we're getting into shape. You know, like uh, if talking in sports terms, I think we're kind of uh, we're getting uh, uh, talking in sports terms. Talking any terms, um, pro um, progress over perfection. Yes. Yes. Golden words. Um, which was actually a citation of uh, one of our uh, 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 subscribers. Yeah, right. It was like a, a comment that we read uh, in the last episode. Yeah, we or something. read hastily at the end, and, and uh, exactly. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice it was a nice uh, sign off. I think. Yeah, and uh, that's why we decided to uh, invest and uh, devote more time for comments uh, today. And uh, you suggested that we maybe start with uh, reading some comments and reacting uh, to them. Um, did you did you um, pre-select some already? I pre-selected or screenshotted some of them uh, already. Um, I think, uh, yeah. Did you? Did you? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Uh, although, although I, I, I've read, I've read most of them. Yeah, like, I like, know, I know. Um, but uh, I, I haven't recently because I, I feel like uh, it was the uh, maybe two weeks after each episode's release where there was discussion going on and there was a buzz uh, interaction. Yeah. 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 First of all, it's uh, super nice to. Whether it's a negative or positive uh, reaction, it's always nice to see a reaction. It means that people care for the for the topic and they uh, feel the necessity to give their uh, own opinion and to participate in the conversation, which is for me or for us, the, I think the most important part, participate in the conversation. And if you feel like you have been, um, I don't want to say insulted, but if you feel like something have uh, has, has met your feelings there or your principles, feel free to, to, to say what you think, what you feel. And we will try, as Robbie say, uh, says, uh, we will try to learn out of it. We will try to also give you our full stand on things. And don't forget, uh, we're still talking about our own opinions, our own uh, thoughts and sharing our own experiences. We're definitely, by, by definition, not telling anybody or any, anyone what to do or uh, what is the, the right thing to do, only uh, what we would do. I'll, I'll be interested to see if these lengthy disclaimers are under or overshooting how much we provoke, provoke people with, <laughs> with these topics. Because there's always like, I guess, I guess now that we've found a bit of a rhythm, I think yeah. we can say, there's like a month between releases yeah. approximately. Yeah, yeah. And so it, like... Today is the eve or the week of number four. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this is number four. Number three released this week. Yes. So it will be feedback we'll be getting in a month's time or so. So yeah. we're looking forward to the interactions. Yeah, hopefully if uh, we get even fitter and we uh, can do it even more uh, more often, then our reaction time gets better and then we can No get promises. No, no prom promises. No promises. It's a, it's a nice cadence. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a nice cadence. And, and maybe there's a chance that we can go live and answer some questions in the future. That that, 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 that sounds good. That sounds yeah. good. That sounds that good. If there's the a demand best. for it. If there's yeah. a demand for it. Yeah, but we for that also I think we need some special training to ping pong with the audience and uh, to really project what we are really thinking at the moment without, uh, you know, Without saying anything that is too tough. I'm just kidding. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, well <laughs> depends on how good the question is, how tough the answer yeah, is. You know? yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. So should I just uh, throw some stuff at you? <laughs> like always. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Jerry, like Jerry Springer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> These tables are heavy though. You know? <laughs> um, yeah. So um, nice comment on, on YouTube uh, by Nina uh, Drozd. Um, Maybe maybe a, a, a woman or a girl from from Berlin because it's it sounds like she has some uh, experience with Berlin clubs, uh, especially Sisyphus. So she says, I personally sense from the uh, made in Odessa guy uh, unequal weight on the safe space component. It may be uh, sorry, unequal or unequal, unequal, unequal. Un yeah. Yeah, uh, unequal weight on the safe space component. It may be uh, due to personal experiences. Don't know. What I heard was Sisyphus is bad because A, B, C, uh, D and, and didn't feel safe. Feeling safe seems to be important component of a good club, she says. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Berkheim is an institution. People keep, uh, uh, keep on getting sexually harassed or some even raped when unconscious, but it's okay. -ish. It's, it's, yeah, it's but a lot of comment. I'm just going to... But it's okay. -ish. She, it, she she put 
She put these. Yeah. It's okay. She, uh, she, um, I'm going to read it to the end and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I understand from, from the whole uh, uh, text. I think at the end you will also understand mm -hmm, better mm -hmm, where, where she's mm -hmm. getting, heading at. Um, but it's okay -ish. It's still a club worth visiting. Uh, I haven't <laughs> been to Sissy in years, so I can't compare the safeness of it to Berkheim. Uh, but even if the same happens there now, I sense some bias. It seems to be excused in Berkheim. Why? There are worse things that bad crowd, that bad crowd, shitty sound uh, system, or bad music. Either of these will ruin your weekend. But if your boundaries are not respected and you are, e.g., sexually uh, abused, this may impact your whole life. Berkheim doesn't even have an awareness team, and people are too stupid and or afraid uh, to look for help. Uh, if someone uh, ODs because he'd been getting house for both, uh, he'd be getting house for both. This is a long comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, um, I mean, that's why I think it deserves a, a place in the, in okay. the, in the podcast. Um, I, I can feel her emotions. Um, Berkheim is far from being safe, she says, and I personally believe being an institution comes with responsibilities. They should be an example of a safer, or safe or safer space, and they are sadly quite the opposite, especially since G became so popular. Mm. Before we continue, can I just uh, just shortly read what I answered to her? I tried to be just uh, um, um, pretty neutral in my answer because I wanted to leave more time for the answer at the in the, in the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, um, thank you so much for that, uh, for that feedback. We will definitely refer to your comment in the next episode. Is there uh, uh, more to say about that uh, topic uh, than place in the commentary section? But beforehand, some points. In the episode, we definitely say that, to our opinion, Berkheim is not a safe space. We said that Berkheim mm -hmm. is not a safe space. We didn't implement that. Uh, it's just a serious institution in terms of infra infrastructure for music and dance. We are closely familiar with some super bad experiences uh, specifically there. Uh, feeling safe is a super important uh, aspect to a club because at the beginning of the comment she said, it seems to be that uh, a safe space, the principle of safe space is an important thing to a club. Yeah, it's not a... It's not a it's not a paradox. It is one of the reasons clubs were built as they were built. Yeah, there are like there were supposed to be safe spaces. We'll we'll come back to that in a sec. Um, feeling safe is a super important aspect to a club, as you are there to let go, to feel free, and to enjoy your time without uh, certain worries that occupy uh, your mind in your daily life. Most of clubs do have an awareness team. They're just not always wearing vests, including Berkheim. Our favorite, uh, our favorite club, which is not in Berlin, has a special team working around the clock for these cases and a special treatment area for those in need. Some Berliner clubs have that as well. Mm. We are totally uh, with you regarding the horrific trend of G consumption, and we believe that this uh, phenomenon can ruin any kind of magic these spaces have. Regardless of how good the infrastructure is, and may even and uh, may even long term ruin the perception of uh, club culture and rotten the fruits of a decades worth work uh, by people who started the whole movement. Regarding Sisyphus, we also mentioned in the podcast uh, it was one of our favorite places, like first go to places in Berlin. We had many beautiful memories created there, and of course, if we say that if uh, sometimes uh, we didn't feel safe, it's based on personal experience. Everything we say mm -hmm. is based on personal experiences. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and do it, do it fast, and then it's completely yours. Uh, but as always, <laughs> as, as also mentioned, uh, we believe that uh, that it has a glass ceiling that prevents its growth. Uh, as an open-minded Berlin embodying space, there is no bias co in comparison to Berkheim. We feel that Berkheim has the same problem, just in a different tone or a different point of view. Unfortunately, Berlin at the moment has only very few spaces that are able to provide the complete and complex package. And it should be an ongoing process for every space to strive for a better hosting experience for guest travers. We feel that many clubs just rest on laurels, used to have a good concept, learn how to make money and keep it uh, the way it is to minimize extra investments and forgot how uh, that uh, as gastronomical institutions, which they are as restaurants or bars, they are ob obligated to reinvent themselves constantly to refresh the menu or to keep the, the old one in the most disciplined way and most important to take care of guests. Whereas in Berlin, uh, the motto is take care of yourself. This is what I answered her. Now it's completely yours. Uh, what do you mean it's completely mine? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, um, <laughs> that, that, was, that was a lot to process. Yeah. In, in, in two words, she's saying we're biased. She, she said she felt 
that I was biased about protecting Burkine and uh, and uh, mm, criticizing Sisyphus. I, I, n- at no point did either of us say Burgine is a safe space. Yeah. At no point. Yeah. Um, you even said at one I, point I, I, and actually, it's not a safe space. Actually, it's anymore. not. It's not. And yeah. and 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 like whilst I I haven't experienced uh, sexual assault i haven't felt at, at, at risk of it you know i i'm i, I fortunately um I have not been in a situation um i still i still have not been close to feeling comfortable there for a while you yeah. know um so yeah i, I don't i don't think there's yeah i don't so think there's anything to say there i totally agree we just have to separate uh two subjects here uh, if we say a club is an institution's uh, institution in terms of uh, music or in terms of the club being culture, we just mean that it has maybe the best sound system, the best light system, the best walls, the best metal. We feel that we can go crazy there. But if we say that we don't feel safe in the, in the space, it doesn't really matter which sound system it has. It doesn't really matter how much money was invested. If we don't feel safe there, it's probably because something else went wrong. Well, I, I mean, I mean, so... Feeling safe is a subjective term, okay? Yeah, definitely. And what, and, and if someone has not experienced what you and I would consider a safe space in a party environment before, they don't know any better. Mm-hmm. And then maybe they have a really bad experience yeah. and think that this is the norm if they're going to yeah. go to the party, you know, which for some people it can be. Yeah, maybe um, the person that causes my uh, insecurity or causes my uh, feelings of feeling unsafe is feeling safe uh, himself or herself. You know what I mean? Say again, say again. So maybe if if there is a person that makes me feel uncomfortable in a space, feels safe on his place. I mean, if you're the person person causing <laughs> causing in safety, maybe you feel safe in the space. So that's why I'm just trying to to enforce the the the. Uh, I'm trying to support what you said about about uh, feeling safe or or feeling safety in a space is very subjective. Yeah. Well. I, okay. So so so, so so look, like, I I have a bit more of a sensitive eye or sensitive feel um, to what a safe space is um, because I I'm, I'm I'm learning how to curate them, you know, for parties uh, through interaction with people, and I'm not um, letting people enter the party until I've had a face to face interaction with them for some minutes, you know. Oh, long enough for me to feel that th- that they that they understand that they are very welcome to enjoy this wonderful experience. Yeah. But it is conditional. Yeah. That you are respectful, you know, and yeah. that you are treated as an equal, you know. Yeah. Um. And th- 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 this is like why, for me, Bergheim, like, and th- this is for me. For me, I'm I'm like I'm not talking about in general now. Like specifically for me, like because uh. I get swamped often in big parties. I don't feel safe because I know how much energy is going to be needed to either enforce boundaries or interact, mm-hmm. you know? So for me to feel safe, like, is a is a, a more niche criteria, Yeah, you know? But, it, but this is the thing, like, this is why it is so subjective, um, but... Yeah. yeah, I I just, I, I feel from, from that person, from, from that comment that she's wondering, how can I say about Sisyphus that I felt there unsafe in comparison to bear kind where there are cases of ODing and some spiking cases I'm, I'm, I mean wait that look that happens at a lot of places exactly. and sissy boss and Bergheim are both are both large clubs with multiple thousands of capacity you Absolutely. know so the chances of this happening are I don't want to say very high but this is like the highest chance if you of go course. to the bigger the, the bigger the party the bigger the uh, the 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 risk of of uh, of, of the, the, this kind of activity, you know, because there's more uh, there, there's more vulnerability, uh, which is what is taken advantage of in a space which is not safe. If we just took a look at the at uh, statistics or numbers, the the probability that something will happen in Sisyphus is is supposed to actually be higher because the selection there is a little bit more loose. Loose, and- loose than what? If we compare, oh, if we if we if we try to compare those two spaces, yes, but but, but. is the selection at Bergheim based on creating a safe space or creating a cool party? No, also not. No, and co- it could be that the people that are being selected there are even more dangerous than people at uh, Sisyphus. It's it's all very like it's the variables are. are so so are, um, 
I didn't get. Did yeah. did uh, she feel unsafe also in Sissy Force? No, she was wondering. Uh, she was wondering uh, whether I felt un unsafe in Sissy Force, in like in a specific in specific times, and that's why I'm kind of biased in comparing that to Berkheim. And I'm uh, protecting Berkheim because it's like it's an institution of music, and and I can close an eye on the cases happening there while uh, shitting on Sissy Force because it's like a more. But you, DIY but Ben, you don't don't do yourself a disservice. You you don't close your eyes to it. You don't close your eyes I to it. I don't close my eyes yeah. to anything. I had bad experiences and good experiences in both clubs. I would just like to uh, to express my my uh, feeling in the, in in a in a way that would be understandable for for people watching it and people that didn't have many experiences as as I did or those experiences that I did that I had. Uh, again, just to, just to close this theme about about Sisyphus, people wonder how uh, such a happy hippie club can be can have a, can give you a feeling of of uh, of of a space that is not safe. I can give you a concrete uh, example. Uh, we were in a group entering the club. Uh, one of uh, the girls in our group uh, didn't speak uh, English that well, and uh, the door guy approached her and started talking to her aggressively from the first sentence, and uh, she couldn't uh, like answer, so we answered for for her because her English is like super bad. She was also very young and un insecure, but like a good girl in, in our group. I mean, we were like for the it was the thousands. The, the, it wasn't the first time we were there in the club, and he, he was approaching her and starting uh, to, to talk to her, and she she acted uh, insecure, and and I told him her English is bad, and then she he said like if her English is bad, she has nothing to 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 look for in the in this space. Afterwards, in the yeah yeah, and he didn't let her in. Yeah, and he he also wanted to not let the whole group in because of her uh, English skills. Uh, later on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Sisyphus. Wow. Okay. Yeah, a very specific door guy, which a lot of people in Berlin know, which seems to be there like are a, a few of these. Yeah. Knocking yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, pretty known. He works in several clubs, and I, I don't want to get into and like names and faces, but uh, this is a person that acts as if uh, he, uh, they uh, were uh, a queer persona, open-minded and and uh, like really the the person to be in the position to curate, but actually uh, goes from from talking silently to shouting at guests, at uh, throwing them from the line for like for nonsense. So this is a first moment where you don't feel really safe in the club because this is the first filter. Even if you go after his filter into the club, you already start your evening with a shitty feeling because he is part of the club's vibes. And then there was a situation with the security. Some securities uh, were, were searching and found like uh, on one of our uh, team members like uh, a little bit of uh, cash, you know, like more than 20 euros, I would say. I would say a couple of hundred euros. And then they were like, oh, it's not safe to be here with that kind of money. Okay, nice comment. That's Eastern Berlin. We don't want to have too much cash on us. And then there was the next comment. He said, you know, I could earn money if I would tell somebody that you have so much money on you. This was a sentence from a security guard in Sisyphus. Okay? Like giving you the maximum feeling of not feeling safe in the club where everybody should feel like I, I no ju danger I just, of being... I just don't understand this at all. I, I, I can't, yeah, like why I can't... insecuring me when I'm entering a club? You know, why putting me in uh, that position? So these are just two examples of how a super happy hippie club for like uh, young ravers or just uh, hippie house uh, ravers can give you suddenly in a second a feeling of of being uh, unsafe. And uh, yeah. And then you have the comparison to Berkan where you have so many rumors and cases of spiking and so on and so on. But there you have like a, a very serious approach of awareness. You have... Uh, uh, very yeah, so so she was she was saying there's no awareness. I mean, actually, I don't I I I haven't seen one, but I I I never I never see awareness teams normally. Like I'm not yes. I'm not that. There aware. are awareness teams uh, wearing vests, and there are awareness teams built of members that you would never recognize. They are professionals trained to do so and to look like ravers. But uh, I assure you, they are totally sober and they look after people and they are there when when needed. And uh, they were, uh, there were a, lo a lot of cases of uh, girls and boys uh, being uh, spi spiked, but, uh, but saved in the last moment and uh, brought to, a, to, a, to a, a good place before something happens. So uh, let's consider the whole statistics. Both places have a lot to improve. Both places, to my, my opinion, have a glass ceiling of, of improvement because they are working businesses. They've been working very good uh, through, uh, through the, I mean, financially. They're a success. 
through the last like uh, 10 years, I would say 10, 15 years. And that's why they, um, I think, lack the, the need to improve. But uh, yeah, no bias here. Yeah. Shall we go into another comment? Yeah, yeah, we should. We should <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should. Bro, we're 20 minutes in. Nice, nice. We should uh, maybe cut this completely off. It's a tough comment. It needed a tough uh, love answer. No bias do, do, here. Do, do you feel like we covered it? Yeah, yeah. Because, because, you like, say that, um, again, again, there were, there was a lot in there, yeah. a lot in there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like, um, it's important just to, just to consider that, um, we, well, are not going regularly to either of these places. I, w I was, I mean, you're going to Bergheim a bit, I guess, a bit. Through the last year, I was, uh, during the last year, I was there eight, nine times in a year. Okay. That would be... That it, would it's, be it's, more, it's more than me, but it's yeah. still uh, like, yeah, I, I, I'm not, um, it, it's, it's, it's hard to comment on what it's like now, you yeah. know, because I haven't been in so, so long now at this point, yeah. um, but have seen nothing or heard anything yeah. or felt something that's made me want to go back, mm. you know? Yeah, I was happy that I visited the three or four good events. Uh, the uh, the other three or four weren't that good. Uh, wasn't surprised by either. Yeah, and I didn't, as you said, I didn't feel the urge to come back. I mean, back in the day, uh, it was a Freddie K closing. You know, was would, would always be would always be you know Classic. enough to you know cancel all plans. But yeah, which even is actually uh, um, a small teaser. Uh, we're probably gonna film the next one on uh, Melt Festival, and yeah. Well, we're that's a big teaser now. If it doesn't happen, <laughs> <laughs> um, Freddie K is playing. Uh, yeah, so JP told me today. Yeah, B two B with um, Alessio Dr. TVB, my favorite DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Freddie Freddie K is playing a B two B with Dr. Rubinstein. So that that's that's gonna be exciting. Yeah, some good uh, vinyl selection, I think. Well, Alessio, if you want to come on the podcast and be our first guest. Informal and formal. Yeah. We're going to do it no invitation. We're just going to storm the stage while they're performing. and uh, Storm the stage? Uh, storm the stage and just ask some uh, direct uh, questions and give Dr. Rubinstein and, and, and Alessio some, some tough love. Okay. <laughs> hug them very strongly. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, okay. Nice, we nice. sound like groupies now. No. I, I, I would take Sometimes that. I would take that. I would take yeah? that for Freddie. Yeah? For Freddie K, okay. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's move on. Um, this one th this one was a was a massive. Uh, yeah. Um, there's another one from uh, Dennis Okiere. He says, "Mega für die Zukunft vielleicht noch die Topics des Podcasts in the description." Yeah, das haben wir gemacht. We put them in the description. Um, put what? In the, what? Put the. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't he, get, I didn't get they, it. They, they wanted to have more the more topics into the description of the videos. We've improved that now. There's like um, a, a better overview of what we're talking about. Uh, I didn't realize. That was you, stealthy. If you, did, if you didn't Wait. know, now you know. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna check now. Um, on, the, on the on the on the on the YouTube, yeah. 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 I waited for the second episode. You have no idea how much of an outlet your podcast is for me. Most of the thoughts I always keep in my head. Finally, someone has voiced them. Please keep creating. It makes people happier and definitely pump the world a little bit. That's beautiful. That's, that, that's D. Know. That's D. No, D. Yeah. That's see, uh, see you never. See you never. Forty-two. <laughs> yeah, 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 Who's yeah. that? Who's that? Um, friend, a friend of mine met nice. in met in Odessa at the uh, Svora Svora Drift Collab um, in summer twenty-one. And nice. I have not seen her, you know, but stay in yeah. touch. And uh, it's nice yeah. to hear uh, that uh, sometimes, maybe even random topics that we touch because th these are just our conversation uh, uh, topics that we either way talk about are also thoughts that somebody else had and never had a chance to discuss with somebody else. You know, it's just, uh, it's just, it, it feels good to have that connection. Yeah, you I know? mean, I mean, it's it's wonderful. it's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's yeah. wonderful because because like. You know what we talk about are uh, th things that you know I talk about with many of my close friends. You know, and yeah. and, and uh, uh, often feel like these are conversations that other of my close friends would would benefit from. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, or or have something to th something to say about. You know, an opinion. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like this is a a way we can broadcast uh, what we find interesting. Yeah. And hopefully uh, get some get some more get get some more uh, uh, engagement on for for interesting topics for us and you know yeah. keep keep learning. Uh, I, I, li I like this yeah. detoxicated art. 
Detoxicated art. That's one of the topics you put. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. You like that. Avatars, boundaries, defining queer. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. The, the Bonus tip queer. touch of Ukraine. <sighs> it was just a small talk about. Uh, yeah, Subscribe we, to that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna like the new ones. Is that is that episode? That's one. Uh, that's number one. That's number one. That's number one. Number two also has some some nice ones, and number three has uh, very nice ones. I would say. Number three is gonna be out. Uh, yeah, this this, this uh, week, Thursday. This week. Uh, for example, where we are talking about uh, the difference, uh, I think between uh, the the Burkine or the in the in the Kitka communities or their absence. Uh, we call that topic uh, community guidelines. So yeah, it's, uh, this is nice. It's nice, this to, is nice to have some uh, dad jokes and uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, word uh, uh, word games. When uh, when rewatching that whole uh, thing, good. Uh, I think there's a one comment that we refer to shortly in episode three. I'm mm -hmm, not sure mm -hmm. uh, how how uh, much uh, of a feedback we gave it. I'm just gonna. Not read enough, it. I remember. Yeah, probably. Uh, so C S Rocks writes, uh, but what if your principles are not aligned? Uh, what is a okay? I, I remember there were yeah. several things that I said. Like, I, yeah. like let's do it bit by bit because it's too much otherwise. Okay, uh, so it's referring, unless, unless it's, it's, yeah. oh, go, go. it's referring to the main. Uh, to our biggest uh, hit where you say that uh, parting healthily is when your uh, principles are al uh, aligned with you and mm -hmm, so on and so on. Mm -hmm. yeah, and he or she, I think it's a he, uh, he, he said, um, what if your princi uh, principles are not aligned what, uh, with to what is convenient to you? I mean, sure, in alignment with my uh, with my principles and and care, but, uh, but if those lead me to self-destruction behaviors... Uh, such as the constant loop of raving I've known for years in Berlin where always huge amounts of drugs are involved. I don't think you can still call that healthy. Health is health, which means preserving your life and both your physical and mental stability. I feel like all the people I am surrounded by are walking on burning coals, just trying to see who lasts the longest. But at the end, it's it's not because we are in, enduring it that is not harming us peace <laughs> and please take care <laughs> there is still much to do in life i get i, I mean i get okay the point. okay yeah. so there are a few points in there the first one what if your principles are not aligned yeah then align them uh -huh. <laughs> sounds simple but that's that's the goal you know yeah. and can you align your principles whilst having a party lifestyle i mean i don't want to say no um I, I think you need some space from a party lifestyle to understand yourself before you understand how much you want to party as part of your lifestyle, mm. which is what I have done and what is what I, I'm talking about, you know? Mm. Um, so if your principles are not aligned and you think there's a chance, it may be because you're too distracted by partying to align them, mm. which is fucking possible, actually. Absolutely. Then make a decision, okay? Um, tough love. <laughs> that's, that's the answer there. Amen. Um, to what is convenient to you that is totally subjective based on what, what life do you want? Because if your principles are not aligned to to the lifestyle you're having, then that's not convenient, right? Yeah. So that could be the same thing, or it could be that actually wanting to party a certain amount is convenient to someone who wants a party lifestyle, and then their principles are somehow aligned if that's what they want, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, and also party lifestyle is a subjective word because actually I live a party lifestyle because partying is part of my lifestyle. I just don't party to the same volume uh, or frequency as I have when I was younger. That's it. I found a way to uh, introduce, not introduce, to, to, to embed it in my life yeah. um, as part of a balanced lifestyle, which, and, and, and being in line, in alignment with my principles. Yeah. You know, so it is subjective also, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a choice. It's a I choice. think we've just decided, as you said, to embed parties or, or uh, celebration into our oh, lives. Sorry, yeah. one, one more thing. I agree on his, um, his or, or her uh, yeah. uh, de uh, definition of health. It's, this, this was a good, uh, I, I don't disagree with this, you know. So th th this is like uh, actually um, something you will attain through authenticity and uh, self-alignment. Yeah. But yeah, sorry, I cut you then. Yeah, I mean, health is uh, pretty much uh, not obvious, but it's pretty uh, objective. Uh, your mental health is health and your physical health is health. Uh, oh, that's why we talked also about self-destruction. Uh, I asked you a question. Emotional health time. is subjective, though. That's the... Yeah, I mean... Uh, because the only person who can really say is, is oneself, you know? 
you can be you can be diagnosed for being healthy mentally or not. I mean, uh, I, I'm not a big well, yeah, uh, but, fan but, but, but of hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, like the major. I can't, I can't, I can't say majority, but many, a lot of people yeah. who are not diagnosed are still not emotionally healthy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and and like being diagnosed with something is an extreme example. Yeah, you know. Um, but who's to say that? That person who's been diagnosed is, right. is also not emotionally healthy. Maybe somebody can be diagnosed but feels happy and healthy and can uh, live. Uh, I like mean, I was forever. never diagnosed, and yeah. and to everyone outside of here, I seemed yeah. happy. Yeah. Um, for my adult life until yeah. I started making some big changes. Yeah. 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 And now I'm free. Yeah. But and this, this brings this, me back this, to the alignment. If you're aligned, yeah, then like, you're okay. like 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 yeah. like free. That to me is emotional health. You know, mm -hmm. like I know people who are. Um, Depressed, but yeah. emotionally healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, like and physically as well. Yeah, they're like, I physically, yeah, but that, yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of people are like physically in a although, perfect. Although, uh, although to an extent, there is there is there is a a, a, a relationship. You know, of course, um, psychosomatic uh, relationship. Yeah, so yeah, 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 exactly. You can exactly. be perfectly healthy, in, in non-smoking, uh, non-drinking person, non-consuming person, and uh, still have like uh, mysterious uh, health problems that occur because you are not aligned. Mysterious. Yeah, I mean, I had a, I have a friend that uh, used to have have a very serious, responsible uh, financial uh, job, I would say, in the in the 90s. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was responsible for like for a lot and uh, it consumed him completely. He, he wasn't smoking at that time and he went to like several uh, experts and doctors and they couldn't diagnose him with anything, but he felt like he was dying. Yeah. And, oh my God. Yeah. And he like, he couldn't function and they couldn't also, they couldn't, put their fingers on what is wrong with him. But uh, as you said, and has, as he told me, he was completely unaligned with what he was doing. Mm -hmm. He felt like he is in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it happens. I've, I've yeah. seen this happen to people. And regarding partying, what you said, we have uh, managed or we are trying to embed partying on, and parties or events into our clubbing uh, culture, into our life without making it this uh, secret escape from your parents' uh, house in the night. For us, for, for both of us, partying is not a taboo anymore. It's not something we do to, to escape something. It's for, for us, I mean, yeah. Some people do need the party as escape. We could well, come it, back it, to that it's, issue. Like, uh, it's interesting because like, obviously like the majority of our personal networks um, Uh, as opposed to digital, let's say, yeah. um, are, are around us living similar lifestyles to an extent. And I don't necessarily yeah. mean out partying or, or like all the time or something like this, but just actually uh, free and aligned, you know, yeah. Doing, yeah. Do, doing something. Um, Whether it's performing artists something, or something unique, something nice unique scene, to them, yeah. an expression of self and, and enjoying partying, whatever that means to them. Yeah. Um, so for us, um, we have we don't have close people around us, vast majority, mm -hmm. who would be stigmatizing, have stigmatizing yeah. views on parties or uh, judgmental. And I, th and I think, I think, I think um, uh, there are many people who are uh, stuck to this idea that um, uh, successful people uh, aren't doing, mm -hmm. ooh, successful people aren't doing these things Aren't, aren't living this lifestyle yeah. or, or respon responsible people or emotionally healthy people also. Mm. I think, I think like what was, I guess much of our audience is, is somehow within the, the, uh, the, the party scene or has, a, has a, at least has an interest in it yeah. or at least has an interest in uh, amazing fucking dancers, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because nice. yeah, I mean, that, that's where this audience has been built on. Right. Yeah. As a people that appreciate, Art dance and, and, and music, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're appreciating dance and music, and that's what it's all about. Just for the protocol, for me, it was and has been, it and will be the appreciation of music and dance. That's why, that's how I consider the the party to be the party. Uh, that's how I judge uh, a club, an artist, a collective by how good they can appreciate the music and the dance. How good can they create the best environment for others to come and to appreciate the music and the dance? I mean, and I think that these are like the, the fields. And everyone feels safe. 
Of course, but how can I appreciate? <laughs> yeah, but you say of course, you say of course, but it was a it was a question. Huh? This is the the safe space that she asked in the, the first comment that we we read. She said, "How important can be a safe space for a club?" Well, safe space is the ground it, we're standing no, on. It, it, it's to the foundation. The, yeah. It's the foundation. It's the foundation. Everything of is built on that. Music and dance. Everything's built yeah. on that. I can stay stand next to you, no matter uh, how different we are on one dance floor, and move to the same frequency. If both of us know that we find ourselves in a safe space, you know, we came here to to pray to music, to pray to the, to our to our DJ, the god of music or the god of dance, whatever you call it, doesn't matter, yeah. But we came there, and we can both appreciate and give ourselves away to that to that ceremony, to that ritual, if we both feel free enough and safe enough to to let go, and uh, yeah. Um, and basically, uh, that's some that sums it up. I I think we can go maybe through one or two more comments before we. Or yeah, you have but, but just yeah, just, just I want to say so so it's like um, whilst I now know exactly what I need and what I don't need to feel safe, and therefore, like so, my foundation is is <laughs> quite niche in terms of what I need, or, you know, or, yeah, or don't need. Yeah. Um, it's your but, suit. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> but my suit my avatar's wearing. Huh? Yeah. Um which which I which I, I know how to put on and it's and it's fine. Um and then I have this this this, this um appreciation of the space so I know exactly what it has to be. There have been times uh, throughout like when I was becoming more and more accustomed with parties in Berlin, um, where I wasn't as appreciative of, of this safe space because I didn't I hadn't experienced it yet. I didn't know how much it I valued it because I hadn't learned how much I needed to express myself to my largest capacity. Um, and I would stumble across parties occasionally by accident before I knew what was good, mm -hmm. where I felt this feeling. And and, and uh, it was unfamiliar. I was just like, that was a really good, that was a really good vibe, actually. Yes. That party was particularly good. You touched freedom. Uh, yeah, exactly. Freedom and and, and so so I think I think th 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 this 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 is something you can give to uh, you know our community who are, you know, ravers, but maybe not in uh berlin parties or maybe not uh too experienced yet that actually when you are feeling this energy which you can't quite explain but you 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 feel you feel completely safe you yeah. know uh this is this is what we're talking about this is what we're talking about and yeah, yeah. i think the mission or the responsibility that both of us and our uh, also our circles our teams uh, took on themselves is to try and uh, bring up the probability that every new guest and every old guest can 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 have those moments you've you've been talking about. The, those moments you had randomly in some spaces when you were beginning, you've cherished them, you've saved them, and you want to recreate them. And that's why we're seeking for those elements of of safe space, good music, good artists, good experience, and we're trying to 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 really like raise the probability that any person that would enter that room, enter that space would have a good chance of experiencing that i think um i mean and and, and actually like the the smaller party and i, I um, like so uh, details which i i, I do with uh, mzr uh, much love toby rudy <laughs> <laughs> um this is 100 capacity 100 people you know yeah. so and I'm, I'm i'm doing well i'm doing selection here yeah? yeah so this is like every single person is one percent of the vibe you know, yes. so that's super important, super important. Yeah, and and um, this is this is also meaning that because I can easily thoroughly screen one hundred people and like a mix of a birthday party and a blind date. You know, you don't know who is coming, but you really want uh, every every guest <laughs> to be part of the celebration. <laughs> I love how your mind works. <laughs> 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 ADHS <laughs> hashtag ADHS. What's ADHS? ADHD, AD, sorry, it's ADHS in German and it's ADHD. ADHD, okay, ADHD okay, in okay, English. Okay. Sorry. AD, HD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, AC, AB. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. Hush. Tag. <laughs> um, yeah. So Toby. Yeah, yeah. So, people. so, so this this means that you know after like and also. Like and this is why I don't do selection at huge parties now is because it's like it takes a lot of energy to give myself to this interaction to be like who are you really why yeah. are you here yeah. you know and the chances of making a mistake are also bigger it's a rule of big numbers I mean so this like this this means that the the vibe is immaculate and it's super safe you know because you know like, I'll give you an example like like uh, a friend of mine um, uh, Ivan uh, so. 
Uh, he's a friend now. I didn't know him at the time. For this party, I was selecting. It was him and uh, three of his youngs. Um, they were all super cool. He was shifty as fuck. Uh -huh. And it's four, four guys, like, they're, like three of them are friends of Toby. So, that, like, you know, so it's, I was like, they're coming in. But, like, I was like, look, like, and his, his English wasn't so good, you know? Um, and uh, so I was getting his friend to sort of translate a little bit because my, my, my German wasn't good enough to ask him what I was trying to, you know? Uh, and uh, yeah, basically, I was just like, look, like, you're nervous, yeah? Du bist nervous, huh? And uh, ich muss uh, ich muss uh, wissen, warum, huh? Uh -huh. uh, entweder du kannst nicht. Uh -huh. Angen, yeah? uh, it's just like, okay. And then he was just like, okay, so I kind of, I didn't confront him. I was just like, look, like, yeah. man to nervous, man, man, man to man, yeah. what's up? What's going on? Yeah. And he was like, and he got his friend to translate what he wanted to say exactly. And he was just like, I, I, I haven't partied for the last six months. Uh, I haven't taken excited, drugs. Excited. I haven't taken drugs. Like, this is my first party. Um, and I've got like a Schmetterling in Bauch. Huh? <laughs> you can call that Schmetterling in Bauch as well. Yeah. And I was just like, I was, just like, I was like, bro. You can, you can also uh, call that a crease. Yeah. Crease? Crease, yeah. In Israel, we say crease when... Uh, when what's what's my crease, Dika? <laughs> we call a crease... Uh, Butterflies also. In Hebrew, uh, the phenomenon of uh, addicted people that start scratching themselves. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, okay. Do we say Putin, bro? <laughs> Cold turkey, cut the pussy. So I was, I was, I was like, bro, that's, that's all you had to say. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for, thank you for being vulnerable. Honest, yeah. Open. I mean, I mean, because like, obviously at first, like he wasn't understanding everything I was saying. I'm big imposing guy on the door, and I'm giving him a bit of like, what's going on, bro? You know? And he, he was just like a bit like, what, is this an, you know, is this, yeah. a, is this a situation? Yeah. yeah. Where's the knife? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I, that's what I'm like. Does he have a knife? You know, yeah, like yeah. maybe, I mean, that's extreme. Maybe he will kill me with a pencil. That, uh, I hope not. I hope and not. <laughs> there's this, uh, no. There's <laughs> the the pencil's from, mightier than the knife, you know. <laughs> the, uh, rock and roll, you saw the film, Guy Ritchie? Uh, I watched it the other day, actually. Yeah, randomly, the, randomly. Yeah, there was yeah. a, like uh, an addicted uh, dude um, that, that stabbed Johnny, the Johnny, uh, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the Johnny Sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew I knew the name. I knew I knew the name. <laughs> Classic Johnny, classic, <laughs> classic Johnny. Yeah, it, Johnny Two Guns. This scene really uh, uh, was, uh, it, it's engraved in my mind because like people in uh, those, um, um, how should I say, um, states of mind, they're capable of anything. So I totally understand what you felt at that moment. I mean, I, I was, was never in a situation I, I, like, that, like, like, like I, w I wasn't worried at all. You know, it, yeah. it was, it wasn't, it, it wasn't a, 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 a high energy situation. But it, it, this is an example of like, like, he came to the door. He's not coming in until I speak. Until I understand, he explained. He was honest. I was like, bro, have a great fucking time. Of course. And as I say, friends now. Now, this interaction meant he went from being. Uh, a potential risk, you know, with this energy yeah. to oh, actually, I feel I feel good, yeah. I feel safe. If you felt the shift in his in his behavior straight after the answer, then you know he was only excited or afraid not to come in and then to to be just disappointed that he. I mean, that was part of it. Yeah, which is, which is why it, he was nervous, of course. Yeah. and and and, and uh, like this 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 is how this this uh, this is an example of a, a, a small space having these interactions because you don't. You can't, you can't um, be that um, uh, detailed, <laughs> that 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 uh, that thorough. Um, if there's hundreds of guests, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is this is the curation. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, oh, you it's, think it's nighttime now? Yeah. A nice transition. <laughs> Lights off. Uh, n nobody knows it, but we actually live in a military base, and exactly at nine forty-six, they uh, closed the. The techno military. Oh, yeah, they, uh, <laughs> barracks downstairs, yeah. Yeah, nobody knows where we're filming from. So, yeah, some... Uh, some That's techno the... team just got real. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the, uh, the techno training base right now uh, where Rob is actually the the captain. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we, drive we drive Teslas with Mario Kart on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this sounds like uh, this uh, this conversation got too acidy. It sounds believable though, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, okay, this one is pretty trashy, but I still want I, I still want to read it. Can I? Yeah, it's uh. Go on, go on. Let's let's have one trashy one. Yeah, uh, Anthony Panda Bear says, uh, "Stay at the door six a.m. to see their faces when they come out. How aligned with themselves they are." Can be techno and psytrance without chems. The older you get, you need more time to recover from from a party. If you party two, three Saturdays per month, you are a mess. If, if you, what, what, wait, wait, what was the last? He, the last sentence? The last <laughs> he was sentence? like, is it, the last sentence. The, the, uh, can, you, it cannot be techno and psytrance w- without chems. The older you get, uh, the more you need uh, time to recover from a party. If you party two, three Saturdays per month, you are a mess. It's like a little bit of a contradictory <laughs> sentence. But wait, but wait, um, there, but wait who, I mean, if you're partying two or three Saturdays a month, is it you're, you're a mess? Is it his? Yeah, yeah. He says uh, you're a mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Depends what partying is. It depends your age. It depends how long depends you party how you for. Party. I mean, yeah, you can just like, go to a like, bar for two hours. So, 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 okay. Um, uh, JP and Vlad, uh, they will be going to parties sober for three, four hours because they've gone to see a specific DJ. Same for me. There are the, some events that I would like to visit. There are some events that I I feel I should visit. There are some events that I would like just to say hello and 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 go. So sometimes it's just you know it's in it's so, social. Uh, exactly. It, so, yeah. So, so if if that's if that's the approach, for example, one of dozens, if that's the approach, then you could do a party four or five times a week. In yeah. fact, actually. Yeah. But he, what he's talking about is the older you get, the more you need time to recover. He means that you go shit faced. If if he's talking about recovery, he's talking about a sleepless night, consumption, whatever. And I yeah, I agree with him. Of course, as old the older you get, the more you need to recover. It's like for everything. You, you cannot recover also from a hard sports training uh, when when you're 60 the 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 the, 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 at the speed that you recover when you're 16, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> everything is more of a challenge and uh, everything is a little bit heavier, but his Shout first sentence <laughs> His first sentence is like, stay at the door at 6 a.m. to see their faces when they come out. How I mean, I mean, so firstly, we're not coming out at 6 a.m. We're arriving at 6 a.m. Exactly. First of all. <laughs> yeah, he means that it's... Uh, okay. There is an embarrassing moment coming out of a crazy party where Speak everybody for yourself. Like, Speak for yourself. I, 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 I've just won a war. I'm coming out. Exactly. So. Shirt off in the sun or rain. I, actually, actually, that's not true. I, also, I'll have a vomit in Berlin. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like your shit. Some parties are destructive, and some uh, some parties are so charging that you come out and you really want to just feel more of it. You want to feel more of the universe. You even look in the mirror and you're like, "I'm not embarrassing." You even do a selfie and you're like, "Pretty fresh." I, I like okay. So the the only time I felt I don't like this word embarrassed more more like self no self, self conscious self yeah. conscious. Yes. I can say too self conscious like like. like, like um, maybe cringing at myself something like this yeah. actually this was more more so in the uk when i was partying <laughs> because parties in the uk as this commenter mentioned well i mean so coincidentally i don't know if they're british or whatever but finish at 6 a.m yeah yeah so you're coming out at 6 a.m yeah. on a saturday in london for yeah. example yeah, and you're getting like public transport yeah yeah it's it's it's, it's crowded and it's just it's, it's unpleasant yeah, it's unpleasant. Uh, in Berlin, I'm, I never feel this way. Yeah, in Berlin, I, I, I apart, apart from maybe a couple of times when I when I have I have overdone it, which does happen um, to the best of us. When I just <laughs> when I just arrived in Berlin, it was the same for me. Yeah, coming back at uh, like seven, eight a.m. It wasn't uh, any techno event or so. It was uh, mainly like mainstream events where where like al- what? alcohol were like what uh, at that time cookies. Yeah, What's cookies. Cookies? Uh, cookies. One that was it one of my like faves. Sounds like a sex party, no? No, no, no. It's a legendary place that was Techno? in. Um, they played uh, electronic music. It was. Uh, it was actually everything from from hip hop to techno, and the people there were amazing. A lot of uh, fashion industry, a lot of artists, and the place was legendary because it was on the corner of Unter den Linden and Friedrichstraße, which is actually super poshy and uh, super in the middle of town. Okay. The selection was pretty good. I mean, the door was was pretty hard. And small you, place. And uh, no, no, they had a big main floor mm-hmm. and a smaller, uh, small floor, and the vibes were immaculate. But uh, at that time, I didn't have anything to do with um, uh, with uh, the, the the 
the night scene as as I do now, and uh, it was mainly parties. Uh, <laughs> night scene, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we're seeing. I've got to repeat every time. Um, I I wasn't that deep at that time, and most of the party was just. Are you dancing deep now? And, uh? Are you deep now? Um, do you consider this your deepest, or have you been? Are you coming shallower? I. I don't know if I'm <laughs> deep or shallow in. I think I saw enough. I think I saw. You've, what you've done some deep sea diving, and I, now yeah. you're coming back up with the oxygen. Yes, yes. I, I have a lot of oxygen with me. I've uh, looked into <laughs> the darkest corners. I uh, kind of understood how the mechanism works, and now I can come back or come back fr down from the mountain or up back from the from the from the bottom and tell the story you know where, okay okay so so just out of interest with this analogy where is Bergheim and Sisyphos on this like <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and also what's in the middle <laughs> between between you know the deep sea and the mountain let's come back to the to the uh, theme of berlin being a mirror i thought about it like a couple of days ago <laughs> why is berlin a mirror because it's flat and that's what brings me to the answer they are all on the same fucking flat uh graphic plateau yeah berlin is a plateau i don't think that uh, this is a trailer for next uh, yes <laughs> i think sisyphus berkine Katablau, Heideglun, I think all of them have dark, small moments, bright, big moments, and uh, vice versa. I think any club in Berlin is capable of having those moments, ups and downs, good evenings, bad evenings, great parties, uh, awful terrible, parties. awful, empty parties. Everything. Each club in Berlin, each space in Berlin, unfortunately, is really capable of, of doing that. Which actually brings me to the topic that I wanted to open today. And uh, yeah, this looks actually perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we can leave maybe the comments for a bit. Yeah. And start. But thank uh, you to all the commenters because yes. this is super interesting. And uh, if you have more feedback, we'd be happy to hear it. Definitely. I would like to also mention shortly, uh, not, not, uh, um, not too precisely now, but a comment that I read a couple of days ago. Uh, one of our subscribers uh, suggested that we uh, bring up a, a female guest that, that would uh, tell more about her experiences and parties and how to maybe uh, avoid uh, some uh, dangerous or cringy or strange uh, moments in the club and just share with us some uh, knowledge and, and experience. And we are more than welcoming that idea. I, w I was I would say yeah this this is definitely where where we're going I, mean, I think I think we have established a nice dynamic and a, yes. a, a, a good um, uh, following of people who are interested in the, interested in the conversation yes. or being part of it yes um, so yeah I mean if we're doing the next one at Melt Festival that could be yeah <laughs> that could, <laughs> that yeah, could be mean, a nice uh, entree yeah. yeah the stronger we we get in terms of uh, of um, this uh, concept the, the 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 more probable it is for us or the more possible it is for us to bring up guests and uh, uh, to, to to bring the conversation into new circles i have some to, ideas already where we can we perfect. can uh, <laughs> perfect uh excited to hear and uh yeah so uh Actually, a topic that we wanted to open up, or I wanted to to, to throw at you again uh, today, <laughs> is uh, right, bro. is a is a personal struggle of mine. Uh, it's something that I have defined for myself as my biggest motive in my activities in Berlin, especially in Berlin's night or Berlin's. Uh, community of electronic music and uh, and and club and club community clubbing community um i want to talk about the difference between mediocrity and excellency i want to open up this subject because i'm feel really in pain just starting to think about this term of uh, mediocrity because i'm traumatized as an ex dancer as an ex uh, sports guy i i am traumatized uh, in a good and a bad in a bad way of course uh, 
to be like all uh, of us i guess yeah yeah uh especially those who did sports and then and, and was try were striving for perfection and were uh fighting against themselves against their shadows against their opponents and so for on. excellence yeah for yeah. excellence well you were striving um, for perfection that, that was the problem <laughs> yeah but this is also what gave us uh, as you said in the last episode the tools and the the basis uh to, toolkit yeah, yeah toolkit exactly yeah so the, oh, the, also the blueprint the blueprint perfect um my inner perfectionist is struggling and in pain to watch what is happening in uh in our culture especially in berlin i have been in the city now for 15 years i've seen it on one side shifting and changing and on the other on the other side on the other hand i saw it being stuck for 15 years it is being it has been stuck stuck for me from my perspective in mediocrity what that what does that mean to me it means that many clubs uh, look the same feel the same sound the same as they were 15 years ago or even like 10 years ago and this is actually what uh, makes them worse it doesn't keep them the same it makes them worse because they are not developing with time they are struggling to uh, to go to the next level and they are struggling to keep up uh, their traditions and uh, this affects everything it affects how the artists treats uh, treat the, the clubs how the artists treat themselves the guests their performances it it affects the music the music for me goes there is still good music there there's still good music out there there are still good artists out there but i think mediocrity is a phenomenon that really freezes Berlin and uh, but, in more uh, general terms, freezes, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was going to ask, so, so when you say mediocrity, are you referring to the bookings? I'm referring to a lot of stuff. Uh, <laughs> Classic. A, a, a good example of mediocrity of a club would be not improving the sound system for five or six years while technology is getting better, not improving your light system uh, while while uh, everybody already knows the light show, you know everybody has seen it for a thousand times. You know, create something new. Give us a new trip. Give us a new dream. Give us a new illusion. You know, use the money that you cash out from this the, this milking cow called Berlin's Night. Use that money to even make more money. No problem. But don't use that money just to keep the same old cow. And just uh, to get the same old milk and uh, expect uh, people to come over and over again and eat the same dish I compared before. But, uh, I mean, I mean, look, like the the formula works, you know, in terms yeah. of in terms. Why of, change a winning horse? Yeah, right? and, and 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 like some of the some of the like like everything you mentioned, I I I appreciate, but I don't care as much about, for example. So for me, it's more about the. Uh, the, the people and the lineup, um, if the sound system is good, I, I'm not a technical perfectionist, you know? So, like... This was I, only I, one aspect. Yeah. I, I mean, so... The so, booking is also a very important aspect. So, so yeah. So, so so for me, like, yeah, the, 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 the music and, and the, like... <laughs> so, unfortunately, and this actually ties in quite nicely with the previous conversation, um, is, like the prioritization uh, of making making these parties a safe space is is not there yeah it's not there and so so selling tickets is a priority yes yes and 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 it's also the downfall of many of the previous very good parties of berlin you know I, absolutely agreed mm, mm. biggest names uh, we can call them out i uh, don't think it's uh, that necessary people that visit them uh, can see that uh, this speaks for for itself well i mean the biggest example for me my former favorite party uh Sinoid. super commercial now mm. super commercial heron sauna heron sauna i mean <laughs> they would disagree uh, yeah. but the interview that i i, I saw the we've clip, watched this that is, interview they yeah. they pledge to to stay the to have stayed the same as they were no they say they have changed but the vibes are still there i was at two parties where not even the music was there not the vibe was there not the guests were there nothing was there and did you go to both heron zona and sorry both uh trezor and rso heron zonas 
Um, as a lot of people know uh, from, uh, I mean, from the people that know me personally, I do not visit RSO uh, for uh, moral, personal, and general reasons. But the ones <laughs> moral, I, personal, and general. So every kind of reason. Every kind, <laughs> every of, reason. kind of reason. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Political, historical, <laughs> <laughs> biblical, Demographical, biblical, biographical, yeah, 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 yeah. biblical. <laughs> Classic Ben, classic yeah, Ben. I yeah. really, <laughs> I really appreciate uh, that they took that uh, nice location. And as I said before, I used to love Greece, Müller, but I uh, uh, hereby announce I do not go to RSO. Um, I hereby announce. I hereby announce. Yeah. No matter okay, how so good I, the I hereby system, announce. Uh, I hereby yeah. announce. Yeah. I will not go to Alta Munza. Okay, totally agreed. I good. I do not like this. Club. Even at conceptual. Get ready for fucking tough love. Um, I, 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 and I, I can't say here, but I announced a long time ago that I wouldn't go to Pornceptual. Yeah, I, I haven't been. I, I will never. This I will, night, never. you told me not to go to Pornceptual. You were too right. This was the night I, where I, I understood I, that I'm not going to Pornceptual or Altamans anymore. I told you, and 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 I'm sure there are because I, I know. I, I have many friends who do appreciate good parties. Who have been to drift, you know, who who actually like. There's this party. one friend uh, that, that we <laughs> always like to talk about, which actually <laughs> appreciates <laughs> all the clubs. <laughs> well, he appreciates yeah. Kitka. Yeah, he appreciates through, Berkeley, through <laughs> through grimmest teeth. You know, <laughs> yeah. I am having a great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is not appreciation, Ben. This, this yeah. is this is this is denial. This yeah. is <laughs> <laughs> denial. <laughs> Um, we are organizing an intervention, I think, to that dude. Or we're letting him uh, do it himself. I don't know. Whatever. Or themself or herself. Yeah. You know, anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> so Herren Sauna at Tresor uh, was there three times. The first one, I had a nice glimpse of the community. It was pretty nice. Some toxic moments, but it was pretty nice to see a lot of people dancing, having toxic fun. Toxic moments towards you or that you um, observed? I have observed. Yeah, people are pretty cautious with me. I'm a pretty big uh, generic boy. toxic male stuff. Generic toxic uh, queer behavior, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Was, okay. Uh, a lot of consumption. A lot of uh, consumption. Do, that do, I do don't you want to do you want to explain what um, toxic queer behavior is? Uh, it can start uh, with looks. It could uh, go f further with talks, and it could uh, just be a general judgmental vibe of uh, what are you doing here are you good enough to be here but uh, are you queer enough or again it was it wasn't uh, um, like uh, vectored at me i wasn't the uh, you, you, so I, you weren't you weren't the recipient of this but you you yeah, you, yeah. you yeah but okay okay but hang on a second hang yeah, on a yeah, second yeah. i am on this spectrum somehow because the last time i went to Arizona, which was may last year yeah a year ago uh, a year ago yeah, exactly yes mm -hmm. um i went after um i closed um um bcco mm -hmm. uh, at uh, uh Fiesa and Misa. you came to bcco closed and uh, yeah like, i mean i mean also also yeah, also probably the last time i'll go to bcco yeah um, a lot of tough love uh, today i love it uh, I mean, yeah, like, when, when did you last see me at BCCO or Heron's or or see Never been to BCCO yeah. in my life, sorry. Okay. Uh, heard enough. I mean, I mean, uh, many of my friends go there regularly, uh, cool. religiously, you know. Um, many of them, much of the music I adore. Um, Some of the artists we really like perform there, same as Princeptual. Yeah. yeah they, when you, if you look at the lineups of Princeptual, of Eroso, of Herrenzano, sometimes you see artists that you really admire. Oh, for sure, for sure. Like but I, I love, I fucking love Hector Oaks. I fucking yeah. love Hector Oaks. Jam is very good. Um, yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, like yeah, but but obviously in BCCO, like this is also. I, I, I love this sound as well. You know. Yeah. Um and uh, you know like uh, like good good friends of mine like OG Trues, Future Six Six Six. Yeah. Like, yeah, and and so it's it's like it, but but the reason I don't like it is the um there's a contingency i feel of the community there not mm. just the podcast but the community who are like this this vibe yes but but it's not just about queerness i don't think it's more about 
are you cool enough? Which I yeah. really don't like. BCO and, is, and not, is, not, is, is not even uh, like per se a uh, queer uh, event, and uh, but the vibe can be still as toxic uh, uh, without, yeah. without any yeah. gender or, or, or uh, yeah, sexual preferences. This to me, this to me, like, 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 <laughs> I, even if I'm not a recipient of this, I don't feel comfortable observing it. Absolutely. At all. Agreed. At all. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, 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 like, uh, so th this can be, depending how much you really want to fine tune a safe space, I could say, yeah. I don't feel safe at BCCO. If you, of course. if you, if I, if I see somebody criteria. body shamed, if I see somebody being criticized or being um, talked at behind their backs, uh, if I see those, uh, uh, those observations are like if i feel the toxicity in the air even if it's not pointed at me i don't want to be there i don't want to be there i would like to even uh, step out and say something but i don't think that a party a rave or, or or a celebration should be the place for me to play justice or or uh, the the freedom fighter and to put people in their places if that's their party if that's the 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 soup they want to cook in okay perfect i don't want to be there i gave heron sauna really a couple of chances because i knew how how legendary this party is the last time i went there and probably the last time in general for me was when they had uh, two floors at uh, trezor and uh, globus uh, which is like the panobar of uh, of uh, trezor like the the mm -hmm. upper floor which is built for like uh, more i would say ebm ish house ish uh, vibes was used for a GABA uh, lineup uh, of like, I think eight hours in a row. I of, mean, that, of, sounds, that's a, that sounds pretty cool. I respect Eight GABA hours of GABA in Pano? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, it was I, like, I would consider going to that. See, sorry, just yeah. another, 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 like, so part of the reason, um, like, so with, with Bergheim we touched recently, like about how, yeah. Um, the amount of energy it requires for me based on the volume of interactions from people that know me or, or people that I know as well, but just crowds, you know? Um, it, it used to take a lot for me to want to go there and now I feel like what I want in order to go there is quite far from happening yeah. because most of the lineups I see are things that I've pretty much seen before apart from maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe one DJ I'd love to see, but yeah. that's not worth the energy expense. Actually, something like... Um, eight hours of GABA in Pano. Yeah. That is something I have never seen at Bergheim before. And that, <laughs> I saw that, that, I, is, that, is a, that is a cute idea. Okay, Very so cute. as an anecdote, <laughs> as an anecdote, cute idea. I saw Horse, uh, Horse Girl do a live set for like an hour, hour and a half. Uh, I measured like uh, 175 BPMs playing at Pano. It, for me, it was disastrous, but for the audience there, it was, a, it was, it was a super cute. Everybody was having fun, but... And I'm coming back to mediocrity against uh, or mediocrity uh, in comparison to excellency. Those DJs, those three or four artists playing GABA for Herrensauna in Tresor, if they were technically good, if they were good in GABA, and I can judge GABA because I can count and dance. I am, uh, as I said, like I'm a professional dancer. I, uh, I, I, I am. A, I consider myself a professional raver. I can. You're a professional dance coach now. You're a former. Yeah, I'm a former dancer. Sorry, I'm a. I'm a professional dancer at raves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> um, and I can appreciate GABA even if humoristic. Even if in a funny way, I can appreciate and I can appreciate a good artist playing because the CDGs are, are the same, the equipment is the same. But if you're technically bad, it doesn't matter to me which genre you're playing. And the artists that were playing there at uh, Tozor, at uh, Tozor's Globus, Gaba, at Herrensauna, something that is completely out of context, and we're doing it technically bad. I mean transitions, I mean storytelling and so on and so on. It was just bad. Mm. So the sound guys were like, you know, it was bad. So that was for me the last proof that uh, the curation... Was it of, packed? No. Mm. No. And this is also like the end test. Is it a successful party in terms of like financially? Also not. Even, not even the brand could work for them in that. In that uh, I thought maybe I they mean, did the, it the one to I went the to, place, The one know? I went to was packed. You know, yeah. It was packed. Um, but... It was not. It was, not, and, and I'm not saying good or bad, you know, yeah. because actually, um, the 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 Herons on the folks uh, feel their party is still successful and true to what they want. So actually, maybe what they want now is this this bigger, less niche crowd. But this was not the 
let's say, OG or traditional herons on a crowd. There was a few familiar faces from the party scene. Yeah. Um, and there was a shitload of tourists, you know, who, of course. who, could, e who, who, who could easily have been at Matrix, easily. I take everything into consideration. I know it's Trezor. I know the door is not that harsh. I know it's a big place to fill out. You need a lot of people. I'm, for any I'm, party? I'm, for any party? What do you mean? Um, so I don't go to Trezor regularly. Um, you said the door is not that harsh. I said for any party. Heron Zaun, the door is a little bit harsher than the normal Trezor door, but it's still very um, very easygoing so in that, comparison that's, to That's what I meant. I mixed my words. I meant yeah. the, the Trezor door. I mean, you can take, if you want to do a big party, you want to do a financially successful party at Trezor, you, mean, you need probably like 3,000 ticket sales and so on and so on. You bring GABA, you bring dance, you bring uh, even dance hall, you bring rap, uh, hip hop, whatever. Bring dance hall at Trezor. Yeah. I would consider that. <laughs> of course. They have the, the they have the most amazing sound system in, in Globus, like a huge functions uh, staying uh, uh, staying staying there, a huge function ones there. The sound is uh, pretty good uh, adjusted and uh, and like um, it sounds good, but you have to use it correctly. And this bring me uh, brings me again back to mediocrity against excellency. If all the factors in the organizational uh, part of the of the of the event are excellent in what they do or strive for excellency. They want to excel. The party will be this way or another good. If the organizers of Herrenzauna probably didn't even come to that event, probably curated the event by names and not by sound, and created just a mixed crowd that has nothing to do with each other, they cannot tell us the story that the vibe is still there and the party is changing. No, the brand is still there. The party is completely changing. The vibe is completely changing. And nobody will judge it because at the end they look at the numbers. Oh, we sold good. This day, oh, we sold less tickets. Maybe I, we I need mean, to work on bigger names. I mean, know? so you, like on a top level, you know, like I see the herons on the lineups and I think they're pretty good. Yeah. You know, and and these are, and this is an example of like how, how I used to choose parties. Yeah. I would see that line and be like, I want to go to that, yeah. you know. But like... Was this a safe space? No fucking way. Mm -hmm. However, lineup was good. Yeah. Uh, the party was full, and uh, same for perceptual. Yeah, lineups. I mean, you take yeah. a look. Yeah, so, you see Norman so Nodge. You like, see you see a lot of DJs that are like now residents of perceptual, and you think, "Wow, nice artist." And then you come there, and you're like, uh, I, "I want just like, can I have a ten minutes of uh, like freedom, where I can just uh, disconnect and dance to my favorite music?" No, you're like way more uh, busy with what's going around you, like and trying to find this uh, space, like not even physically safe space, a safe space in your mind. You know when you can, huh? Wild West. Yeah, it's the Wild West. Everybody, uh, we talk with Mark about it uh, like uh, a, lo a, lo a lot of times. The word safe space should be just completely switched by the term Wild West, a playground that is. Uh, well, it's one or the other. Yeah. What, what do you mean? Uh, the, that was a question. Because uh, a safe space isn't the Wild West. A safe space is to the preserve uh, the Wild West feeling while keeping a safe space is almost impossible. There are few, maybe just one or two. Burgoyne Ber is Wild West. It's like it's it, everyone West. for themselves. Like, yeah. what's your drinks? What's your valuables? Yeah. What's your yeah. what's your, like like like? Okay, so here's here, here's quite an easy example. Um, a party where you. Uh, are concerned if you put your bag somewhere and leave it unattended. This is not a safe space. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't leave your shit in places because people are gonna pick it up. You know. Yeah. Um. And this, this, this is like this is like yeah, Wild West. You know. Yeah. 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 Good example. Yeah. Um. I, I'm. I'm more than sure that these spaces strive for excellency, especially Berkheim, because their name is uh um is uh, in stake and. Uh, they really want to get better with time. They are a business as well. I mean, there is a strive for for uh, not for perfection, but for uh, for an improvement. I I guess that even each club in Berlin like has a percentage of uh, of a will to improve. But again, what I feel and what I'm mostly afraid of in Berlin after 15 years of being here is that there is a a way stronger energy of mediocrity and, and being okay with what we already have, preserving what we have, and accepting what we have. When I talked to people in from the kinky and fetish scene about uh, uh, about uh, 
scary situations of harassments and rapes, he told me, ah, this is already how it's been for the last 20 years. This is mediocre to me. This is like accepting what it is as it is. This is mediocrity for me. I'm I'm surprised to hear that this is the case that people are accepting of this. This this is mostly the case. People that are have been going to those parties for 10, 15 years and even know the past of the fetish and kick scene that began in the punk scene and so on. They said to me, it was always dark. So 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 which which parties are you talking about now? With with with, with this this harassment, like is this a specific? A lot of parties have uh, harassment cases and uh, complaints cases. A lot of them have uh, even cases that uh, the, the, where the victims are afraid to talk about. Some victims are already talking about uh, about it. But uh, you, you mentioned you mentioned the kink scene, so I thought it might have been like a, a specific, yeah. I you know. know about specific cases that happened and uh, talked uh, about them with uh, with uh, with. Uh, guests that have been going to those parties for years uh yeah about those parties i got i got uh very similar uh feedbacks this is how we, it has been uh you cannot uh, prevent it completely and some but, people but are you just can dark. take you can take more measures than our standard yeah to prevent it you know and this, this, this is it's being uh, holding 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 yourself accountable to a higher standard and having uh, strict selection, you know, um, and not being scared to talk about it actually because there's a lot that doesn't that goes unsaid. I think. I think that that's why many standards have to be broken. And many standards, what well, what we consider or what these parties consider or what uh, in general this uh, party clubbing community considers to be standard has to be broken has to be recalculated. So we have a chance to preserve what we have. If we keep the same vibe going, if we keep the same the same standards going, someday there is going to be this one case of a daughter of a very important person that would press the button and would close everything. This is my doomsday uh, uh, scenario, you know, because it's not hard to gentrify a club. We can see that happening already. You it's know. hard to gentrify Bergheim now. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to gentrify Bergheim. Yeah, it's probably going to be one of the only. That's why we also say institution because it's it's very hard to demolish. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. Like, demolish, yes, gentrify. <laughs> Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Um, but uh, I guess we're I guess we're coming to an end of. Uh, yeah. Of uh, number four. Yeah, I got some emotions out, but uh, just uh, yeah for the protocol, it's all in uh, good means. Uh, oh, I don't think I don't seek to criticize anybody or to to give tough love to anybody without the cause behind it i want at the end my inner perfectionist would like to strive for an improvement and and, and the, hey, the, 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 there's nothing that we're saying that parties or clubs should be doing that we don't do ourselves when we organize parties you know this is something that we need to enjoy it um to feel safe and um yeah i, th I think once you've experienced this uh your standards get higher, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for the ongoing support. I guess next time is Melt Festival. Yes. Um, See you all at so Melt Festival. It wasn't, it wasn't for nothing. <laughs> 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 we get we get a nice weekend out of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Melt uh, in, uh, invited us, and uh, we're going on a small uh, one day adventure. Let's and see. Alessio, you're uh, formally invited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you, if you see us, uh, you get a chance to, to just, uh, you know, uh, feel free to approach and uh, even to ask questions. If we're not uh, totally uh, busy that moment, before you get some uh, tough love uh, from us, and you can uh, reach out, approach us, and uh, and start a conversation. We would love to do that. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Uh yeah, I guess so. But if we're if we're going to record one, eight? Eight, yeah. if if we're we if we're recording, cool. Okay. Well, uh, either we'll cut this or we'll see it melt. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, it was a, it was a pleasure. I really yeah, like that it was uh, amazing, cl climatizing amazing. towards the end. The tough love was getting really tough towards the end. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, and it, it didn't pop. You're like, whoa, yeah, whoa, it didn't whoa. pop. It didn't pop. It, was, it got like that. Yeah, yeah. It will never pop. It will never. <laughs> 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 Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ciao. See you next time. <laughs> see you soon.